Hello everyone. I'm very happy to introduce you today with to Paul Gardner and Barbara Bellini. We are here to in Mantis Founders Lodge, launching a fantastic global project about wildlife and conservations. Give us a bit of your background. I live in the UK, but I grew up here on the Eastern Cape. In a, it's a I'm very close to Port Elizabeth in South Africa, and our family were very involved in rewilding this province 30 years ago. So. Having grown up in wildlife, it's been my passion, along with conservation. Now, I've always had, a, had an affinity and a, and a real passion for media, but never really known how to leverage it to its fullest. And uh, a few years ago, I had the privilege of meeting this lovely lady, Barbara Bellini, who comes from an incredible background in television. And together, we have just founded Wild Lens. And Barbara will tell you a bit about, about herself, but also about the project that we're working on and have just launched. I am Italian. I'm an urban chick, but and I experience wildlife and uh, and the nat natural world through the lenses of very established filmmakers from National Geographic, Discovery, Animal Planet, independent English producer, and I've always nurtured love for nature and wildlife. Meeting Paul has been for me a game changer because it's allowed me to finally do what I've been planning to do for quite some time. Be portrayed wildlife, nature, and its behavior in a real, unzipped, authentic way. And this is Wildlands, which is launched about five weeks ago. Uh, we are in its infancy, but we've been seeing some great success. In my opinion, the greatest success is the few people we've reached out to um, have been calling to all rangers and other lenses out there that are amateur or professional videographer. They will respond with great enthusiasm because what unites us all is uh, a firm conviction that something needs to be done to save this planet. And in our small little way, we're hoping to become a force of change, driving change for conservation uh, through the easiest possible communication vehicle, i.e. content. And that's where my, I suppose, expertise comes into play, having worked in media. The Wild Lens was launched, as, as Barbara said, just five weeks ago and immediately took off hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube in the right format to the right people, speaking to the right people in the right way on a global scale. Um, and that's that's amazing to see how wildlife is actually content that people want to watch. And the, and what amazed me as a, as a, as a, from my knowledge of YouTube was that they really want to take the real wildlife to any mobile phone and any person on earth in the in unfiltered way which is extremely nice and we are here with rhinos in our bag so very unfiltered i can tell you what's your vision S seeing how the, the planet has been abused um you know what is the best way to get the message out there um and and, and for me it's media i mean we've got it at our fingertips as you say everybody's got a mobile device now our vision is truly to be able to showcase animal behavior and nature in its broader sense to the widest possible audience. The audience is no longer, sadly, engaged with the traditional legacy media, but engages in short, uh, snappy, but still meaningful uh, video form. Everybody is effectively a lens in the wild. And we're not just focusing on South Africa or Africa. We're hoping to engage with content creators and, and rangers in the field in places like Alaska, Canada, you know, Montana in America, Brazil, um, uh, Asia, India, you know, we've got some amazing um, guides in India that are capturing tigers for us. So we really want this to become a global thing, create this global community of people into conservation. And then we've got to get smart. It's all very well doing this short form, punchy content that people zip through. But there's got to be some good messages here and there's some incredible people around the world doing stuff for conservation that we don't even know about. We're going to go and unearth a lot of those characters and start telling those stories, but in a long form way. But also in a fun and punchy way, because the, the youth of today want to see fun. So we're going to have to combine a lot of fun with conservation. 
And if we get that right, I believe this could really take off. Thank you, everyone. Watch Wildlands on YouTube.